Hey, Skya, guess what? It's Valentine's Day soon. You know. No, Skya, we've gone over this. You can't have chocolate. Skya, it's toxic for dogs. Skya, look, I have a solution, okay? Skya, Skya. We're going to make dog-friendly chocolate treats. Yeah? Okay, okay. You want to know what the great part about this recipe is? <laughs> okay, Skya, it's that there are only two ingredients. Because we only need two. It's easier that way. Skya, Skya, you're going to love it. Come on. Okay, so first we need peanut butter. Mmm, you love peanut butter, don't you? And next, we need our secret ingredient. <gasps> What's that, Skaya? Is it chocolate? <gasps> okay, no, everyone. These are actually carob chips, which are a doggy-friendly alternative for chocolate. And Skaya really likes it. Can you believe that's all we need, Skaya? Well, well, it is all we need. It's true. <laughs> Well, look, all we're going to do now is pour these together into a microwave safe bowl and then we'll microwave it in short bursts on medium power in the microwave until they all melt down together. Okay? Okay, so first, Skaya, we're going to put in our peanut butter. Want the leftover? And then we're going to add our carob chips in. Oh, look at that. Then we're going to mix these together. And the reason you want to mix the carob chips in with the peanut butter is that carob chips tend to burn when they're heated on their own in the microwave. So coating them with peanut butter helps to ensure that's less likely to happen. And now we're going to melt it in the microwave on medium power, okay? <laughs> okay, okay, you'll do it. For this, you'll want to heat your mixture in short bursts of around 30 seconds and stir in between until you get a smooth fudge-like end result. And now our mixture is thoroughly melted. Well, through the magic of editing. Y yes, Skaya. And here we've got our silicone heart-shaped molds here. We're gonna put the mixture in, okay? You wanna do it? Okay, okay, you can help. You realize we're not going to have enough batter for the whole mold, right, Skaya? After we've poured our mixture in, we make sure to gently tap the tray to evenly distribute the mixture in each mold and push out any air bubbles. And now we've got our heart molds filled up. Only 17 hearts though, Skaya. What do you think that is? You, you don't know. Don't you think it's because maybe you ate all the batter? Hmm? Hmm, well, I see some batter on someone's chin over here. <laughs> yeah, yes, it was, Skaya. It was you. Well, I guess 17 hearts isn't too bad for Valentine's, right? You're, you're going to eat them all? Skaya, you don't want to share? <laughs> because you have a Valentine's? Okay, geez. Okay, well, we're just going to let these solidify in the fridge for a couple of hours and then you can have one, okay? Yeah. After. After, okay? No, Skaya, come on. Look at these beautiful hearts. And look, you're wearing your Valentine's bandana. You look so pretty. You know? Well, do you want to have one of your chocolate treats? Okay, okay. Here you go, Skyu. A beautiful heart just for you. <laughs> so gentle. Sky, I'm making a mess. So was it delicious? <coughs> was it everything you hoped for? <coughs> oh, so does that mean you're gonna give one to your Valentine's? 
Oh, Skya. Skya, come on, you have. Don't you have at least one? 